Welcome everyone to this year's do-it-yourself Christmas pageant. I'm so glad you could join us. Can you believe it? Christmas is almost here. We're all excited for tomorrow, but tonight we'd like everyone to pretend to be in Bethlehem on the very first Christmas, the very night Jesus was born. Can you imagine what that must have been like? We're going to need a lot of different people and animals to tell our story. That's where you come in. You get to play all the parts in our play, or at least the ones you want to play. Hmm, maybe we should give you some examples. We know that people had come to Bethlehem from all over Judea, so we need travelers. Hannah, are you there? Hello? Hannah is going to pretend she's looking for somewhere to stay. Because I forgot to make a reservation. I don't think they took reservations back then. Just go ahead and say the line, please. I need a room. Where's the nearest hotel? Anybody? Now, that might seem like a lot to remember, so you can just say, where's the nearest hotel? If you'd like. Let's practice. I need a room. Where's the nearest hotel? Anybody? Where's a hotel? Thank you, Hannah. We also need sellers for our farmer's market. John is gonna go going to pretend to be a seller in the marketplace. When you see John, you'll hear him say, Kettle corn, get your kettle corn here. No way, you're not supposed to be selling kettle corn. But you said it was like a farmer's market, and that's what I buy. Sorry, John, they didn't have kettle corn back then. Just go with the line that's written. Fish for sale, fresh fish, fish for sale, best you can find. Fish for sale. That's not so hard. Do you want to try? Fish for sale. Fresh fish. Fish for sale. Best you can find. Fish for sale. That's it. But there are other stores in town too. Esther's going to pretend to be a baker, so whenever you see her, Esther will say, I got baguettes, bagels, brioche, cornbread, rye bread, pumpernickel, wheat, croissants, pita, soda, sourdough, Whoa, 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 whoa. that's a lot to try to remember. Can you simplify it a bit? Bread for sale. Get your fresh bread. Bread for sale. That's better. Can you sell bread like Esther? Try. Bread for sale. Get your fresh bread. Bread for sale. Thank you, Esther. There are a lot of hills around Bethlehem, so that means we also need shepherds and sheep. You'll hear our shepherds say, Here, sheepy, sheepy. Here, sheepy, sheepy. Wait, um, Gladys, I think that's supposed to be Paul's line. No, we decided to switch. I always get stuck being a shepherd, so this year I'm playing a sheep. But wouldn't it make more sense for Gladys to play that part? But I'm a bilingual sheep. French, bah. German, bah. Russian, bah. I was born to be a sheep. But Gladys is a sheep. Oh, so that's it. You think that just because I'm a sheep, that's the only part I can play? Well, no, it's not that. It's, it's I'll not have you know. I've done sheep spare in the park. I am an actor. But it's just that you're so perfect for the part. Won't you reconsider? <sighs> to bar or not to bar? That is the question. Oh, all right, I'll be the sheep. Thank you, Gladys. Okay, where were we? Yes, when you see Paul, our shepherd, you'll hear him say, Here, sheepy, sheepy. Here, sheepy, sheepy. And when you see Gladys, you'll hear her say, Line. Bah! 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 Okay, I think you've probably got that, so let's move on. We have other animals besides Gladys. Mava is on hand, too. And you can imagine what Mava says. Meow! Pretty straightforward on that one. I can do it in Canadian, too, if you'd like. Canadian? Meow! Eh? That's okay. Let's keep it local. Easier to understand. And last but not least, we'll need donkeys. Lester, are you all right? Just a little bit of stage fright. It's okay. We're just here to have some fun. So kids, when you see Lester, you'll hear him say, Hi, hi. Wait, Lester, I think you did it backwards. I did? Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, hi. No, I mean you've got the words backwards. Kids, can you help Lester say hee-haw? Oh, of course, silly me. Hee-haw, hee-haw. And with that, we're ready to begin. O oh, little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. Such a lovely image, a beautiful, peaceful little village, and totally inaccurate. Bethlehem was far from quiet on that first Christmas night. How could it be? The governor had made an order that everyone had to go back to their hometown to be counted for the census. That meant everyone who could trace themselves to King David had to head to Bethlehem. The streets were packed with travelers looking for somewhere to stay. 
Does anyone know where I can find somewhere to stay? I need a room. Where's the nearest hotel? Anybody? Anybody? Naturally, with so many people walking through the streets, the business owners were out trying to sell their goods. Fish for sale, fresh fish, fish for sale, best you can find, fish for sale. Bread for sale, get your fresh bread, bread for sale. There were shepherds passing through on their way to the surrounding hills. Here, sheepy, sheepy, here, sheepy, sheepy. And of course, there were sheep. Bah! Bah! No one knew how long the census would take, so naturally, the travelers had to bring all their belongings and livestock with them, including their cows. Meow! Meow! And their donkeys. Hee-haw! Hee-haw! All of these sounds, the selling, the searching, the buying, mooing, and hee-hawing, everything was all happening that night, and all at the same time. It was loud. Really loud. No one was listening to anyone else. No one could really hear anyone else. It was just too noisy. Until one sound suddenly broke through. One sound so perfect and so beautiful that it quieted all the others. It was the gentle cooing of a newborn baby. But how could such a small, soft sound be heard above all the noise in the streets below? Because they heard it not with their ears, but with their hearts. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, wrapped him in cloths, and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Baby Jesus had been born, God's gift to the world. The light of a new star shone down on Bethlehem and on a little stable up in the hills. Each Christmas, we celebrate and remember all that Jesus brought to us and continues to bring to us, hope for new beginnings, God's love for us and the love we share with others, the joy of the miracles all around us, and the peace we feel knowing we are never alone. God is with us always, and it all began with a baby lying in a manger. Listen for that baby. Listen with your hearts and tell everyone what you hear. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Happy birthday, baby Jesus. Merry Christmas, everyone. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas! <coughs> me, 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 me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jesus. Happy birthday to